Hi there, this is Popo. I hope you'll find. Welcome back to the second part of the Matches Adventure mode. So, uh, I hope you liked the first part. So, in the first part, uh, we covered a lot of levels uh, from 1 to 10, uh, including the side quest with the scarves. So, here basically we have four factions the humans, uh, the scarves, the goblins, and oh no, five, excuse me, fairies, uh, vampires, scarves, goblins, and humans. And uh, this is shows, uh, showed in the bestiary. So, we are very cool. So we're going to continue advent mode and we have a lot of things to discover because we have to go here and then something happens, I don't know. Uh, in fact, I know, but you don't know, maybe. So let's go level 11. Uh, maybe we change the faction this time. Uh, we'll play with the vampires because I actually like the vampires. Okay, let's go. Golden Harbor. With an undead militia led by a vampire lord, we march to the Golden Harbor to buy a vessel to allow us safe passage into the Eastland. Lord Valtaza remains invasive about his past crimes that went around his exile. Alas, the Golden Harbor has been taken over by pirates. We shall come bandier their culture in the name of his Lord Majesty. So let's go. Oh, so we have now a boat board, which is very funny. You see that there's some water over the board. So something new here. We try to see how we end up with this. So uh, the craft, we already know this piece, you remember the goblins. So this is basically a knight and he has a passive move towards the king. Uh, we have here the pirates. So this is uh, an advent mode pawn for the human faction. So remember that sometimes every faction has an uh, advent mode piece that you only see in the advent mode and now in casual play. So uh, this is like burial in a pawn. So they move diagonal and they capture one, one square forward. So very cool. So how we get over here? I guess I'll play c3 because this is not defended. Okay, now this is defended. So I have to find something else. So uh, I'll go f3 this time. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I said this is defended, but not that really because I can actually decide to take. And you can't take back with the croc, else I would catch back the, the croc this way. So I'll do the same for this. So I have two pawns, that's basically cool. Uh, I can now put the count two into play with count two b3. So let's go here. And now the croc again has to move. This board list is a little confusing, I, I won't lie. This is hard to just remember what is what. Um, my badges are not doing every, anything, so I should get them in play. So I go here and try to get a fianchetto. Okay, we have bishop here, so the threat maybe is to capture that. But here, if capture here, I would be able to capture that and that. That's pawn catcher, that's pawn catcher, and then croc catcher. So I have to play this. Benchy to g2. Okay, so now... Seems like to be a very terrible move. There's some kind of triple attack here. How are you gonna defend everything? So let's see, normally he panics and starts to make some moves. So first we have this tempo, but here I can take with check. And then I can win, I can get another check. Which one, which one? The bishop. With tempo, check. Okay. Uh, if I take this, uh, yeah, he could defend this way. It's not that interesting. So I'll decide to get this croc, and you see that I just create a ghoul in front. So basically, here I think I'm winning now. But this is not over yet. Um, what should I do? I should go over here, try to threat this pirate. And now I can capture it. So it seems like I have a very cool control now. Uh, oops, that hangs rook. Maybe the computer is a little more confused than me. Uh, if you wonder, this is not a check. Because actually, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, this is range uh, 3 and not range 4. I was calculating about this uh, and how to defend it. I don't have a wolf move to catch it, so I'm just going to protect with the wolf. Okay, so now he puts pressure, but now I have this check. And I have this check. Oh, no, this is not check, it's me. He moved to the wrong square. 
but here I won. No, so normally uh, I'm basically completely winning. So now I have to perform the good moves to win the game. So let's start with the check. Let's start with. Uh, let's go with this move. And by capturing, I create a ghoul. So now I threat a little more. That's yeah. This is very scary. Oops! oops, 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 oops. I almost stalemated. He has to go back and forth. Let's get a tomb move check. And let's get a checkmate. Yeah, I told you I, I like the vampires. They're so great. Okay, we got that. Goblin croc unlocked for reserve. What do we have? Yeah, this is cool. We have second reserve slot unlocked. Ooh! So if I get a reserve, I can put two pieces. Oh yeah, okay. Let's say this is the instruction. Okay, let's read this because I never get to read this. Choose your faction on the left, then create a reserve from the unlock unit on your bank. Units in the reserve can be dropped into the battlefield on your back front once you have fewer than seven, 16 units on the board. Oh yes, so you have something to be captured to put something, okay? The size of a reserve increases as levels are completed. Okay, now this is uh, two spots. Each reserve can only feature one archetype of rook, bishop, or knight. Queens are only available in their respective faction. Okay, so I can hold uh, only as rooks. Uh, so here uh, I can have a setup with just stuff. So for example, let's see, uh, I can decide to have... What is strong? A, a, a frog? How, how do I do this? Oh, maybe I have to click on it? How, how is done? Oh no, this is if I go to awkward mode, maybe. Okay, let's just switch to arcade to see if it's right. No, let's go for, for this one. Let's create from blank. Hello? I'm supposed to do this. I can't mod the easy difficulty of You have to drop yourself, you can do. Okay. Can mod feature three main difference from. Okay. Both mod, same level, okay. Classic mods, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this is still the same stuff. I can't do this. Let me create a reserve. For example, I go for a croc. Oh yeah, so I go this. And it seems like I can't do for this, okay? And uh, for example, let's add this one. Oh yeah, and that would create a reserve. So if I play, uh, uh, let's try actually, uh, the, what happens with the Arkham mod? I never tried it actually. Delphin Reef. Okay, there's water everywhere, it seems like. The vast sea carries with a forceful wind. Or Galliand, the ocean blade, can withstand its wrath and collisions into a reef. We angered the animals of the deep, and no mermaids are in sight to calm their vexations. Still and all, no water mount shall spoil our calling. Okay, uh, maybe we should change the faction here. Let's play with the humans. That should be fair. Okay. So I have my reserve here, and then the they have troll here, and I have only two lives, so I have to be careful. Here we have a fin which creates so water uh, after moving. So it does only this. So it moves, it creates water. If it moves here at the at the next square, next uh, at the end of the next, excuse me, not wrong color, it would create a water square. Okay, this is only this. So not strong here, but here uh, the this points would promote. Uh, to something else. I can't really tell because maybe this is a subject of the next quest. So uh, I'll go with a strong e4 here and try to see what happens after queen to h4. Okay, so now um, I guess I'll put this here. Okay, defense. So now I'll attack. Take one time. Mm. Take a some time. Okay, we have the thread here, so let's go there. Okay, this is an attack, very well made. Let's go here. Let's go there. Okay, so the troll wants to go over the king, seems like. So, I see a check here. Okay, let's flop this knight, challenge here the fin. Okay, we have check, but this is a very wrong check. 
Okay, check. And now, okay. Now I can't castle. So I guess I'll get back my bishop and then castle in safety. Oh, if I am, no, I am okay. The queen protects. Oof. Okay. So I'm still alive. So now I can do a drop from my, my reserve. So I can drop a croc. Oh yeah, and I can drop an elf. Oh, this is so cool. So, so cool. I guess I get this rook on one. I have ideas. Uh, yeah, this sacrifice doesn't, doesn't worth it. So I guess I ch just change this troll to see what goes. It goes here. Now I'll drop this to change against... Oh, this is, this is funny how it goes. Yeah, and now... Oh yeah, this thing is still here, so... I have to get rid of this thing, and then I'll go for my special move. Yeah, so he sees that. Oh, he plays very cleverly. Bishop to f4. Mm. So we have to consider... So he sees the tactic behind this. This is very cool. Okay, so this rook is directly threatened. Nice. But here, if I perform my special move, uh, the rook would be connected. But this is not what I want. So I'll perform this move. Okay. Now, let's see. Yeah, I'll perform. I'll do this way. And then I'll perform the special move. Okay, so now this seems very scary because there is a fork and then I can capture that. And the king is pretty much boxed. No, this is not stalemate. Check. Ooh. Go here, checkmate. Yeah, playing Arkhamad is uh, very easy. Mehmet's fin and lock for reserve. So I should stop to play Akon mode here. That would be too much easy. So let's play the classic way. Okay, so let's go for the level 13, Salt Wind Island. Unwilling to gamble our fate on the dental vessel, we direct our course to a nearby island. By heavens, will we, uh, excuse me, by heavens, will we encounter new civil demons on shore? Give us your madness, they repeat in their older voice. We won't listen to more of this folly, bigot creature of corruption. Okay, let's change the faction. Uh, maybe I will play the vampires for this one. And you may say, uh, when are you gonna play the scarabs? I'll wait until playing the scarabs. I want to get the wolf faction uh, in ahead. I don't know, later I'll get the scarabs. Okay, um, the vampires then. So how should I start? Maybe I should start with... Oh, I have to present the piece, excuse me. So uh, you have this scoot, and now we have a special Ventima piece uh, for the Alint, which is the probe. So uh, this is a crow, basically. This is an Alibaba, so it moves like this, up to two squares exactly. We have um, also a, a piece from the Tikis, which is called the Rage. So this is a very funny looking piece. This is a rook by four. When it's on like squares, this is a joy, so it smiles and goes up to four squares this way. But when it's on dark squares, it just, I don't know, rage. And then it splits, uh, excuse me, it splits its move like this. So this is not jumping, but this is moving like this. So here there's a path in the way, so it can't go here. This is not possible. So a very uh, fun looking piece. So let's start. Uh, yeah. Maybe this wasn't a, a good idea, but anyways, maybe maybe I can go aggressive. Let's go this, and then this opens the way. Okay, let's go this way. Mm, yeah, it challenges this. I don't want that to happen. Or would I? Hmm. I'll put my wolf down for now. 
Okay, the, so the prop makes his appearance. Um, what should I play? I play this. And now let's try to get a little aggressive here and try to target this. Yeah, the prop's defense. So I'll go here with the ID to snap this, check, and at the same time I create a gold so it would take the probe. This is defended. Now I can take with the wolf. Okay, I'm playing a risky game out there, but it seems to worth the try. I see a check here. And then I can take the probe. But that doesn't do anything. But this banshee move can be something. Now first I have to perform the check. Check. Banshee here. Okay, so now let's think a little. If I can uh, if I capture this, I get a tempo over the, the rage. So this is cool for me. And if it captures, I would capture creating a gold, so this would be check and everything collapses. So maybe this is the way to go. And it captures. Interesting. So I'll capture this way and I create a pawn to, to protect my wolf. So defense. So now I'll capture. And then I capture. Or oh, then maybe. Um, this seems stronger to have captured immediately. Maybe I missed a good move. Oh shoot. Okay, anyways, I'll continue. Mm, I'll capture that. I'll capture... Let's see. I'll try to exchange everything I have. Go here. So I have a threat over the probe. The king defense. Now I go here and I threat over the, the scoot. Remember that create points every time I capture. So now I'll go here and I have a double threat. Yeah, so you're screwed. And now I capture with check. Um, okay, so basically I'm good. Check. Check. Oof. Check. And mate. Okay, let's go to back to analysis. I want to see back what happens later. Because I guess capturing directly with the count seems very brutal. But the tactics was very cool here. So go here, go here, go here, go here, go here. Okay, and I play directly this, but maybe capturing this seems stronger. Yeah, you you defend this way, then I'll capture this way. Yeah, and then you're screwed. Yeah, this is, I, I was sure this was this, because now there's check. Then I'll promote with check. And then basically this is over. And this is mate. Okay, I missed that. And it would be over in 18 moves. But uh, this was a good game though. Okay, so let's continue our quest. Tiki Joy unlock for us. So basically this is a joy. Yeah, just there. Cool. Level 14. Let's go. Uh, what should we play? A goblin. This has been quite a time. Okay. Sunken Corsair. Just as the fettled ocean blade gains a brisky pace upon, upon the ices, we feel it all trembles with our feet. We defy the Kraken's territory. Lord Valtazar whispers our self evident predicament. Far removed from the kingdom of Leviathas, we can only silence these bits with still and a few things. May the mermaids forgive us. Okay. This seems to be very strong. So now. We're going to play against the big boys of the mermaid. So we have pirates, we have the rook here, and then we have uh, new pieces. So uh, Finn, you, you remember that. But 
here, this thing can swap place on water with the Kraken. This is new. And you see uh, what this implies. Here, this is a nymph. This is a bishop by four. Uh, by moving, he creates water square. So exactly, uh, the first square he comes from doesn't uh, create waters, but every square until the finish... No, uh, no, excuse me, this is the opposite. The first square he comes from creates water and then creates water until the finish where it creates no water. Yeah, to be precise. Also, um, you have the Kraken, which is a queen by one, so it moves like a king, but it can move or capture on every water square you want. So here this is terrifying. So we'll try to get a very cool checkmate against them, but I don't guarantee. Uh, so maybe I'll go first with the croc. Okay, uh, croc to d5 seems to be okay. This seems to be ridiculous, but I want to give it a try. How about I defend that? Okay, the nymph goes here. So I guess I guess I'll go full aggressive and uh, I'll take this. Or maybe I have a tempo here first, and then I'll take that. This seems too powerful. So where do you move? You move here. So I'll take. Pray for st okay, do you go here? This seems to be a panic move. There's no reason for this. Oh, I know why there's a panic move. Oh my god. Wow. Shut I can get the Kraken for free. Um, here this is threatening to capture my thing, so this is not the right place for it. But what's the point? By going here... Actually, th the king can't capture that because this is defended by this. No, I I'm, t I'm telling Bullocks. No, this is completely shitty, why I tell? No, the king can capture, uh, perfectly capture that. So no, this is just desperado. No, it's not, nothing. Because by going here, uh, the front square would be uh, e6. So nothing to worry about. But here I would catch her and then the rook is dead. Okay, so we have already an advantage, so let's capture. Maybe it would catch her the crack, yes. So here this is pretty dead. But at, at least I, I got something. Um, how would we would react to prepare a proper check? Oh, we can react this way. If you capture, I'll have a check. Yeah, of course. Um, so now I'll defend now. And then I try to slide the route on the game. Okay, so now the Kraken move on, moves on. So this begins to be scary. Let's get the croc on the game, and then the route. Okay, captures this way, of course. So, now I get check one time. Now, can second check here. Now, I get a, let's be precise, third check here. Oh, here I can't really do so so much. Yeah. So I'll try to exchange the queens, if possible. And check. And now the Kraken is forced to take. Okay. Now I'll castle. And then uh, this is basically the end. So I can gain a check. And I'll get back. Um, I'll get a check here, I'll get this, and then I'll get a checkmate now. Okay, so let's start with check, check, uh, check, check, mm. check, and mate. 
Yeah, uh, this was a very goofy uh, to to end the game like this. <laughs> I like, I like that. So, anyways, so this is the end of uh, this level 14, and we have the Merman Nymph. Okay, so we start to have a nice reserve here. Let's go now for level 15, and we should play uh, with fairies. Why not? Okay, so this is the boss of the mermaids, Kingdom of Leviathus. Displeased with our ruinous footmarks of in, of, on his kingdom, King Adjurus demands justice. Then note by common marauders, lead them to their graves in the eternal abyss. We shall cut through these rural guards and parley with the king. The war's fate lies in the balance. Okay, this seems going to be strong. Okay, so now uh, we have almost the most um, the wall mermaid faction. Uh, you don't have nymphs, but you have these shells. So these shells are very annoying. What happens? Uh, they create a water square at the beginning of the game in front of them, so four squares. But uh, more than that, uh, they can swap on water with the king. So if the king were here, uh, he can just swap. So uh, this is hard to chase the king when uh, you have uh, both of the shells on the board. But anyways, uh, I'll start with a small fianchetto here. Mm. Yeah, but then I go with e3, I guess. And now, what we can have? I don't know. Hmm. Let's try to change a little. Okay, the thing goes here, so I'll try to advance a little. I try to cut some space for the mermaids, because the more they move, the more they gain. So I'll get a tempo here. Oh no, uh, this is not tempo, this is going to be taken. Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, let me start this level back, excuse me. Uh, my opening it was just shitty. We can we can find something better here. Um, let's go here. Let's go there. Maybe open this way. And then let's go here. Uh, I'll try to snap as more points as I can. Okay, it goes there. Then this is a way to open for my shroom. I'll take one time. The Kraken takes. Then I get a tempo over the Kraken. This is defended this way. This is very well made. Ah, very cool. Um, how long that would last? I'll go this way, and then the idea is to go here, I guess. Let's see if this is a load. No, this is not a load. So, well played. So... I guess I'll develop the other frog. For now, nothing much to worry about. I'll go here. Okay, there's capture. Then uh, I can capture with the frog and remove this very annoying stuff. Captures, captures, captures. Now I have to play Wisp to E2 and then uh, that'll do something to the position. Okay, here I have a double threat. So cool for me. So how it goes. Kraken goes here. Maybe I have another tempo over the Kraken. Now my PC is very well placed. I'm very pleased by it, from what I see. 
Oh, the, this is a very bad swap. Oof. I can even get this move. No, because now the thing is going to go back. So first I'm going to capture this and then the threat is to go here. A oh, very, very bad. Very bad choice. Uh, I'm okay. Let's, uh, let's try to get something. Maybe the pawn would take as a temple. Okay, well done. But now, I guess I can go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're just getting destroyed here. Yeah, there's this temple. Okay, so no problem. So still same problem. Maybe Kraken to C3 is going to be played, but this is not enough. Kraken to F6, so I can snap this. And then I can tag here. Wow. Uh, mermaids face a very difficult time. Okay, so here are several options. I think I just get here. Yeah, with the threat of going here with check. Kraken to e5, defending. Maybe I should. Oh, this is not defend. Uh, this is defended. This is defended. All right. So let's take this pawn. I really like the fairies. They have a, a full potential. Uh, now this has to go. I don't have a lot of squares actually. So I'm trying to see if I have temples over the kraken, but maybe I have, uh, have a temple here. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it w wouldn't really square, would we? So I'll go back this way then, because now this square on d4 is three. I would like the d6 square, but you can't have everything. Okay, so the threat is to snap this on d4, so this is a good move. Maybe at this point of the game I want to get a trade with the wisp. So let's change this way and see what the kraken does. That would be cool if he were accept the trade. But maybe he would refuse. Yeah, he would refuse. So uh, let's be... Yeah. I'll take this way. I really like uh, the way my pieces are arranged on the board. This is just so likely to see. Okay, now this is about to l win the game now. Uh, this pixie is not doing anything. The frog is not really well placed. So I should replace it this way. And now this is not hanging because uh, the Whisper can recapture it in d3. My piece coordination is almost perfect. So now that I'm replaced, I can go now to e5. Now I cut this square. Now I can go here with the Wisp. And now uh, my aim is to shoot at this. Now taking with the Shroom would be better than just shooting it. Oh, I don't care about that. Let's go to temp over the Kraken. Again. And here hard because now uh, there's a threat mate on d7. Seems like this is over. Uh, this is not over yet because this is in water. So the Kraken would take. So the Kraken would take. So. I'll actually go there. And see what happens. Okay, shell to g8. I'm trying to get brief room for the king. That does make sense. But I have so much advantage actually. 
let's take this pawn. Yeah, no, no, with perfect peace coordination, I should have something. Okay. Uh, I see a check to begin. Captures, captures, and the Kraken captures. Should not be dating this. However, I see this move, which is tempting. Oh, this is very dis disgusting. And now this. And now I take the Kraken. Yeah, this is very disgusting here. Shell takes B3, is, uh, G3, excuse me, I guess this is the end. So let's get a check here. And now how do you end this? My pix is threatened, so I'll go here and I'll threat to catch you there. Check, but that doesn't do anything. Let's catch you here. Let's go here. Yeah, this is basically checkmate here. Okay, cool. Mermaids now join your order. I like mermaids. This is so cool. So I see that there's a side quest here, so we should do it uh, after this. Uh, I, go, I guess we have to go here and then we're going to see. But yeah, we start to have a lot of factions here. So let's go to level 16 and then we're going to play with the World Mermaid Army. I like mermaids. Okay. Never feed fault. Complete havoc now refrained by reaching King Andrews. The mermaids share with us their suspicion that the silver demons plan the annihilation of the living. King Andrews offers us its most uh, trusted battalions and escorts us to the shores of the Eastlands. Woefully, rock fairies are following us. Surf pages, passage. Yeah. Actually, I want to go for for the. Ah, okay, we we do this again. I, I just uh, beat this level and we see later. Okay, so here we have new stuff. So here this is from the Jenny faction. This is a lamp and uh, here a, un um, a light unit, so for, for black, can move or capture through this. So for example, if they are a unit, you can just go through this way or can just capture through. Here this is a tower, so this is an adventure mode, uh, an adventure piece for the fairies. So this doesn't move, but it captures up to five square with moving. So this means that this one is already hanging here and this one is already hanging there. So, very, yeah, as you see, sensible. But uh, I don't mind, we'll find something cool. So, maybe here. Hmm. Let's see. I guess I'll play Finn to F3. I don't mind if this is lost, because now I can go to G5, and now I would remove one of the towers. Yeah, it takes both, but I don't mind. Maybe again I can perform this the other way and go here. And now uh, this is time for, for us to strike. So let's take. Let's take. Okay. And now that would be funny because now the Kraken can enter the game. So I'll advance this way. So basically I'll try to win tempos over all the stuff. So make water squares and uh, capture everything. Okay, so yeah, it seems panic now, since that everything's falling apart. So this level would be slowly finished. Oh, I would uh, say quickly, excuse me, not slowly. Oh, this is a, a little trick, but I can capture that and then I have a tempo over this one. Okay, uh, this check doesn't bother me, I I'll go here actually. Uh, this does bother me. It captured two pieces, yeah. I should have paid attention. But anyways, I, I'm I'm so much winning. Nothing bad can uh, can happen. Uh, you see that can I exchange my position here? So I'll keep my king on water. Okay, check. I can't capture that yet. Yeah, how I should do this? 
advance my kraken. I advance my kraken again. Yeah, this is the danger coming. So, closer and closer I get, and closer and closer I win. Next move, this is over. Took. Oh no, you can take the fence, excuse me. But here, uh, these squares are, are restrictive. You can't go over here. So, it does mean that I can actually do this and a checkmate. This way. Okay, I played completely stupidly, but <laughs> this is okay. Jenny Lamp unlocks for reserve. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'll go for the side quest here first. Uh, this is called the Tiki's, I guess. So uh, let's go for this nice side quest and see uh, what we can do. So maybe I'll start with the goblins. Okay. So T1. Barbacore jungle. Elder Fox Glade sends magical energy deep into Saltwood Island. The soil drums with olden energy, she claims. The ancient giant of the Age of San Paradiso was slain on this very island. Mayhap their soul never left these lands, corrupted by vengeance. We shall give them an opportunity for a rehabilitation against a new, more capable of four. Okay, let's see. So, we fight for the Tiki, so if you remember, we had the Tiki Rook, which called uh, Rage and Joy. So, uh, this faction has adaptive pieces, so the piece would change the pattern. For example, here you have a bishop by 4 with the totem, but this bishop can slide one square passively to change the color lightness of the bishop. So, very funny. Here, this is even funnier, this is called a Mohai. This moves like a knight, but after moving, this moves like a king. And after it would move like a knight, and after like a king, after like a knight, after like a king. And this never stops. You can see when he moves like a king because it's just like meh. And when he moves like a king, uh, it is just blowing. So, you'll see. Um, let's start by a very aggressive a4, I guess. And croc to c3. And try to be the more aggressive I can. Uh, okay, uh, thank you, I'll take on b5, so I'm okay for this trade. Okay, and he, he, now he moves like a king, you see? So I'm going to take and then I'll see what I can do. And then basically, I guess I can already deflop the route. This is very aggressive, but I want to give it a try. Let's go here. Mm. So let's be okay. With that, I'll give a very strong check, I guess. Yeah, so this is why he reacts. Like, I can take and then give a strong checkmate. And this is defended. Oh, yeah, this is very nicely defended. Yeah, I'm kicked back. I have to move back. Shoot, I played that bad. Oh man, I'm stupid, I, I could have taken. Okay, let me go back again. I'm stupid, I could have taken with... I, I don't know which faction I play. So, let's again make the threat. Okay, can I defend myself from that? Ah, shoot. I got tricked another time. I, I, my, okay, I played a very bad thing. The, the beginning was very good, but after I just my, get, let myself slip. I was too ambitious, I'd say. So let's go back with the opening. I was very good at this. So shoot. Okay, it doesn't play the same thing, but okay, I'll take. I'll go here. I'll have... No, uh, this is a, a unit for free. Oh, excuse me. I don't know. I, I begin to be a little tired. Excuse me. Because uh, here, uh, just you to know, I'm recording the second episode just after the first episode, so this has been quite some time since I play my chess. But uh, everything will be fine. I'll be more careful. Um, so I'll go for the same way. Yeah... You see, sometimes you say that the eye uh, played them deterministically, but this time this is uh, I which plays deterministically. This is funny. But anyways, 
So I'll go for the plan I had before, which seems to be good. Okay, I'll take. And then my goal is to perform this move. Yeah. So normally, this should work. Okay, this is defended. But now, oh shoot. Oh, I hate myself so much. I hate myself so much. I don't see anything. Maybe I should take another sip of, of water. I'll play the opening again and then uh, oh, this is okay. Yeah. I need water now. I hate myself so much. Um, actually, this is confusing. All the of this green. Uh, it's very weird. And also, I have to pay attention uh, of the status. So, I still go for my strategy. I'll take this. Okay, maybe this move should be completed first. And then this move should be completed second. Because both threats are on the board. And I should capture a second time. Now this seems to be okay. Yeah, it seems panicked. Oh, very clever. Does it survive? Yeah, it survives. Very well played. And then there is a direct attack here. Yeah, this is very well played. Okay, so it gave a lot of material, but that's not that bad. Because here it would be pinned. So I'll go back there, the catcher, and then I go here. And now I'm going forward and forward, and then that would be dramatic frame. Checkmate. Okay. Excuse me for this game, this was awful. Let's go to level T2, so maybe I should have kept on my on my line. Okay, uh, this one I want to play with Scarabs because I never played with Scarabs actually. So I'll let you read the text while I take a sip of water. Okay, let's get back and play our game. So now we have the Wolf Scarab's army and uh, here I have to play very coordinately, if I would say so. Um, what should I begin with? I can catch you here, but I can't catch you this way. What should I do? Let me think. Mm. I want so much to catch. Uh, okay, I'll play this uh, to begin the game. And then I'll play this move. Okay, this is defended. Then uh, I'll catch you here, so make a good point structure. Okay, so now I can catch you here. So I got a two tempo over the shroom. Okay, so the shroom gets a tempo over me, but this is okay, I can catch you. There's still the same threat. Oh, this is a very nice way to defend, but now I can snap this piece. Yes, check. Uh, oh, you would actually win this piece? 
How clever. Ah, good job. But here, uh, what does trick that? Um, a little of this. Now I'll go here. This room completely stuck into my basement is just funny as hell. I guess I'll defend it twice. <coughs> Shroom takes F2. Okay, this is now my ch chance to develop. Even if it would take a lot of pawns, uh, I have uh, a lot more activity. And he might even open... Oh no, this doesn't work because this is a shroom. Oh, excuse me, I forgot. Anyways, I have a lot of stuff here to do. Oh yeah, this is very confusing to play a Dante mode. This has... Oh, 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 I have to play again. Oh, awful, awful. No, I can't, I can't keep playing like this. This is not possible. So let's go for another uh, better of better, because here this opening was very shitty. I'll go this one, pawn to f3. Then... I have lots of ways to do to go. Let's catch her here. Okay, the rage already joins the party. Let's develop this piece here. Because now I get a tempo of the rage. So it has to move. The rage goes here, so then I'll develop the hook, and then I get another tempo of the rage. And it seems quite stuck. Oh no, it, go, it, it slides like here. Yeah. Everything's okay then. Now, I'll gain this square. And then I'll start pushing forward. Okay, very nice tempo. So I'll put this uh, here, try to get the pixie. Uh, I don't mind. Let's catch her because I get a tempo over the shroom. And now I would safely develop. The shroom goes here. Oh, I get a nice tempo here. Uh, wait. The threat is to catch her through. So let's see. This is okay, this is okay, this is okay, this is okay. Uh, I'm okay. Let's go here. So this room wouldn't dare to catch. It dares to catch her? Oh, because he, he, move, he gains another piece here. Oh, really? This room seems to be so powerful. I wasn't convinced of this. Rich captures, but I can capture thanks to my bishop. Oh, and then he promotes. That was the plan. And then he captures this way. Now so I'm still good here. Okay, there's a thread here, so I'll go this way, and then I'll try to see what I can do. Uh, I'll develop that, I have to go for the king. Let's take that. The king frets himself the, the piece, so I should go back this way the totem goes this way let's double up totem goes here maybe I have a tempo over the totem where do you go? you go here so then this allows me to double this way. And the king runs. Okay. Now 
I'll slowly but surely double until I get something good. Go here. To rage. That doesn't forget to capture my stuff. So I'm still alive here. Should be careful though. Now I have this check. Doesn't do anything. So check. Check. Oh shoot, this totem could catch her, excuse me. Oh, I performed the very. Oh, I played so bad. Okay, let's save at least this piece and try to catch her here. And I can't. I can't go here else the rage is gonna capture me. Oh my god. I'm completely um, I'm completely destroyed. I, I, I start to be very tired uh, at the same time. I'm very sorry to, to show you this very bad play. But you can see uh, what happens when uh, a computer plays correctly. Because uh, it's pretty de decently. Let's try this move. Oh, I hung my rook, but here um, I can take it back. Oh. Uh, the question is that might I be able to take back his finger? Yeah, shoot t t takes. If I play well, oh, okay, this was easier than expected. Okay, I'm back into the game. Maybe I can choose some very, very funny feature of the scarabs. Okay, I can back my searcher. Okay, so now he wants to. Now he goes here. Yeah, he wants to trap my stuff. But I'll perform some ugly moves. Let's go there, check. Let's go there, check. Let's go here. Oh no! Oh, How can I play so bad? Oh, this is awful, I hate myself. But I have 1, 2, 3, 5 points. Ah, if, if I can't win this end game, that, that would be the end of my life. Oh, okay, I... How can blunder that much? I have a 1676 uh, uh, Fide license. How can blunder this? I'll take my time. Incredible to play as bad as this. Good luck with that. Yeah, you can't do anything. Okay, so now I would have something cool. Take that. Check. Okay. Let's make a second one. Let's put that into the game. Ah, he wants to go for the V's. Let's defend. Let's defend again. And let's defend what last time. Okay, so everything is self-sufficient, so I start to advance my stuff, make a third one, and then humiliate him, because this is not possible to blunder so much. Okay, so we're ready to perform some awful stuff.
Check. Check. Oh, this tree is blocking the way. Can you believe this? Not a problem. Let's do some kind of exchange. Thank you. And I'll make a fourth of one. I want every piece to be helpful. Let's give a check. Let's put this here. And let's capture what mates. Awful, awful game. Okay, let's try to play a better T3. Okay, it seems like... Okay, the, the only game where I played not so good was uh, level 16, but here, wow. Since level 16, this is a malediction. So I'll try to play a little better, excuse me. Uh, for this level, maybe I'll play with the mermaids. I love, I love the mermaids. T3. Dalidawo Temple. I, Dalidawo, last dinat stickies. First ogre sacred eye shoots the moving statue. Feet, you are more newborns, standing here. Desecration about our temple. Live with infantile ambition. I'm Princess Madeline. We request your strength to battle a reincarnation of your past enemies, the Silver Demons. Okay, so we have to play this well. Oh shoot, the, the, the board is very confusing. So, we have still these units that now you know how they work, and now we have something new, the shrine. So, um, this shrine wouldn't move, uh, um, more precisely, would move one time. If it lands on these squares, this is the gray square, it would turn into a mole, and I explain how it moves. If it would land over this square, it would turn into a chimp, and I would explain how it moves. So, let's wait until something happens. So here, uh, how should I move here? I should capture on A3 and try to open a little. Okay, how should I do now? I guess I'll take over the nymph. Give some pressure. Okay, so he refuses. Um, actually, by doing this, I will create a lot of water squares with check. Okay, and now he captures with the shrine. So we have a chip. This is a queen by two that can leap, but for doing his um, leap for doing his movement, so very strong, and he can decide to take uh, nearby pieces and throw through them. And this is up to two squares. So, for example, if there's a unit there, he can throw up here, or if he can throw up here. So, very nice stuff. This is very cool to play with them. So, um, I guess now I would block this pawn, and then I will be creative for the rest of the game. Okay, this chimp to d4 seems to be way too much aggressive. I, I guess I can punish them. Mm. Uh, get a final good move. I guess the aim is to go there later. I'm tempted to play this move him, so if you like, ignore that, and later I'll play something convincing. I don't like this thing either. Maybe I, I still need to conserve my pieces, especially this nymph. So, I'll play pawn to f3. Okay, catchers, this is very good for me. So now the thing takes, and I have more control now. Okay, so the chip goes back. This is very tempting to go this way. Fred the totem. But then uh, once the totem has moved, oh yeah, yeah, this can move like this also. So that's not that impressive. This is very annoying, but if I do this and this, I would be able to advance into his basement, and that's already breakthrough. Hmm, threats to capture, so 
I want to see the intentions before. Okay. The problem being, he can decide to remove my fin so he would be able to capture that if I push that. But he would never be able to, to throw this, so no, this is okay. I worry for too much. Now we start to dive into the position. King to f8. Already backing up. So now I have to think a way to make new progress. Let's stake on h3 and see what happens. He captures. I'll capture back with the nymph. Okay, king goes there. Now I seems to be tempted. This one is very annoying. I should get rid of it. So I'll start going here and here. This is my main plan. Uh huh. Is this a threat? No, this is protected. So I'll continue my move. Okay, and now it moves. So it aims me to go back. And that's okay because now the nymph would be able to move. Chin to f5. Again, this is not a threat. And my Kraken can now take this, now take this pawn. Let's take it. Joy to h7, getting a tempo. Alright. So I'm gonna go back to strategic square, I guess. Hmm, here I would be threatened. I'll stay here. The more safe my Kraken is, the better it, it is. Joy takes. No worries. So I'll thread this Joy. So it has to go back. And it takes here. I uh, should have seen that coming. Where can you go? He does quite a lot of squares. Indeed. That doesn't work. I should go on water. No, I should, uh, I should, I should have to go here. Okay, I'm pretty screwed now. Because now this is going to happen. Uh, I'll try to push. And the other one becomes a rage. I'll try to see what I can do with this shell. It blocks. But I can decide to take. And the joy goes back. Okay, so it gives me a free piece. But this joy is still annoying. Is there a way I to threat it? Here this is taken. Here this would be taken, here it would be taken. So what happens if I put it here? Let's see, nymph to h3. Yeah. This is a piece for me. Of course it takes, but then I can start pushing. Okay, I'm back into the game. But this is not over, so I'll try it as much as possible, because here this is a free piece. Yeah, it's completely cracking. I'll continue pushing. Now the king defense. This is cool that he takes his own tree, that will help me for later. 
but uh, I will lack her water squares. So I should get a breakthrough. I'll first defend this. Takes G5. I'll go here to defend this pawn. Chin to G4. This is not a real threat. I'll go there. Chin goes back. Hmm. He defends pretty well. If I can somehow get to this card, that would be very helpful. Maybe I can set the Kraken here. Let's see what happens here. It goes for Rage. So now I can perform this move that goes with the tempo. Jim goes to G4 and then I would have a check later on. So this starts to be interesting. Now I have this knight. This is very strong. Okay, and now these two squares are blocked. So if I can put something on the back rank, this is game over for my opponent. I see that this is not on the right square, so I'll double my stuff to be sure to be protected. Now I should fret this chimp a little more. See where it goes. It goes there. This is still defended. I'll slide my Kraken here. Okay, there is a double attack here. I see that. Nothing to worry about because now I can slide it slowly here. Okay, we're not far from victory. I just have to get something. Hmm. I'll gain another square. Okay, it starts to run away, so this is very positive for me. I'll try to get to this square. Okay, I have a double attack over this stuff, so I have to defend it. So I'll put it on water. Now it attacks the knight, but I can take here and this threat's mate. Yeah. You don't have... Uh, is... Yeah, this is mate. Cool. And now we get the tickies. Cool. Okay, so let's continue our quest. So maybe you should play immediately with the tickies. So level 17, I guess. Level 17, let's go. Divine Highlands. Upon Mountain Speaks. The angel introduces themselves with the rancor and hostility. And voice of Archangel Padron swear to the dishonorable nature of the mermaids. Our plight for armistice is discarded by the winged creatures. We will have vain obey, obey reason. Okay. So now we play against the angels. So remember the angel stuff is that uh, on certain situations your units are invincible. So these are zealots. This is Bishop by 4, but if the Zillop is here, nothing can capture it here from the, this location or this location. This is not possible. So you can't capture this piece directly in front or behind. Also, you have a Griffin, which is the Angel Advent mode piece. Uh, this is not particular with any ability. This is just a leap of 3 to 1. So this is basically uh, what you would call a, a giraffe or a camel depends on your volition. So here I can also already see something very menacing here. I don't like uh, those things. So maybe I'll go with a strong C4. 
Okay, so already threat start. So I'll play Mohai to c3, I guess, to defend this. So now this wouldn't be captured. Uh, Griffin to e4, now he threatens uh, to capture here. So it captures the chip. So I actually, I have to develop that, I guess. So... I'll make a chip. Let's target the good square. The square should be good. <clears throat> because it threatens to capture. Okay, this is defended. Once. Now, uh, how I'm supposed to continue? Maybe I'll develop the Ohova Mo uh, Mohai. See what happens. Okay. I'll capture this way. And now this is threatened. Okay, I have a lot of griefings, but I see that this square is actually uncovered. So this is okay for me. I, uh, and I can also capture this. So, I have options. I don't know, it starts by going here. And then I can take one of the, the stuff with check. Oh, this is not, that doesn't go with check. Anyways. Okay, I see a direct threat here. Uh, this guy seems to be very not cool. Would I sacrifice my stuff here? No, I want to keep my joy. Oh man, this was a t this was a fork here. I just realized. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, I got tricked. Popo getting tricked every time. Uh, I'll go here and get the, get a threat here. This goes back. Can I win? Uh, even though I don't have a lot of material, so I'll develop that here. And then I can have some cool squares. This seems to be a very cool uh, place. I'll go there. Takes. Uh, I'll take with the king. Okay, so this is threatened, so I'll take. The Zilla goes back, so I'll go back to my position. I guess this was a good position. It takes here, so I can't take the zealot, and now it goes back. Yeah, this is pretty clever. But now I would develop. I'll block this. Yeah, oh, he captures. Okay, seems he starts to panic a little, I guess. Now I have this rich move. Now I have this joy move. Uh, I can't directly capture him here, so I'll do this way. Captures, captures. Again, so rage. Uh, wait, okay. I'll go there. And normally I have to set as oh I can actually go here and this goes with check. And I can take this. Okay, so so far so good. Now to get a checkmate I have to put a rage to play this play. Ah this is actually this is my nice mate into like let me get here. Why to mate into with the tickies? That's a very nice puzzle. And you have to find that you have to get this certain thing and on and on. Very cool. Okay, excuse me, I got tricked for this griffin stuff. Angel, zealot, and lock. Okay, so we have the zealot here. Cool. So let's continue. Level 18, I guess? Yeah, this is this. So let's go with the tickies again. I love the tickies. Maybe I'll try to go for the other stuff. Uh, maybe, because here I promote to Chim, maybe to a mole this time. I don't know, I'll see. Paladin's outpost. Elder Fox Glade remarks that our order is ill suited to endure prolonged travels on the glycel moons. To reach Mount Paradisi and speak with Archangel Padron, 
with negligible casualties, she says, we must travel expose in the Grand Valley. I will abide by this counsel, but a militia outpost lays ahead of us. Fatalities are all but inven inevitable. Okay, let's see what we can do about it. Okay, so um, for the setup, I guess this is everything we know. We know Zilot, we know Huck, we know Joy, we know Truth. Oh, there's something new, Throne. This is a knight, but if there is any enemy unit here around it, it can only capture one square. So for example, a bishop here would only be able to capture these units, a rook would be only be captured, and the knight would not capture anything because it captures more than one square at range. I guess you figured out. Uh, here the king's pose here, so I want to play very aggressively with h3 and g4, I guess. Or maybe this is better first to get the Mohai to f3 and then play g4. The Zilla goes here to defend. No, that's okay. Captures, and I guess pawn captures. Yeah. Okay. And here, that would be cool if I can make something cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have IDs. Oh, that might be risky, but I want to tempt it. Let's get this choy over here. And now I'll make a chimp. And now I'll maneuver this chimp up to the king and checkmate him. Let's see how far I can get. Now if I, if he yells me I'll get this square. I'll go here. This is that something is happening here. Let's go here and now the threat is checkmate. Okay, starts to panic a little. Yeah, defense with uh, the throne. But now I can threat the throne. The zealot threats here. Oh, this is very well played. Mm. And here, because here now this, there, there's not a mate threat. Yeah? Anyways, uh, I'll let that pass. The front is still uh, threatened. Ooh, I'll take that. The front goes here, so now I'll go back to my stuff. And then the mate threat is still here. Okay, now it will try to run, I guess. First, I have to give this check. Now I have to put this here, and now uh, I cut the square. Check. Oh yeah, my range is stupid, so I'll take that. It takes this... Oh, actually, that might be helpful for me. Because now I have two pieces of a... Yeah, it takes two times. Oh, I can't take back, I just forgot. But yeah, I feel like I'm too strong now. You can actually take. Maybe I should remove this piece. Okay, with everything I got, normally this should be fine. Yeah, like this. Oof. Very hard to counter. Check, I go here. That's a nice defense, but I have check here. And check there. Yeah, the sticky stuff was very cool. Angel from unlock to re reserve. I started to get a very good reserve, actually. Okay, let's go to level 19. Oh, the Oasis is cool. Okay, um, fairies now. Because two times sticky is maybe a little more. Well, Backbone Valley. As we enter the valley, we come face to face with Yetis, the servants of the Frozen Will, traveling far from the land. They are seeking silver demons just like the Order and profess that these fiends first appeared near their kingdom. Alas, they do not trust our Aetherclad regiment and chargers in fright. But my lot five at the man answers. So we have to fight uh, the Yetis. So the Yetis is a particular faction, this is a barbarian faction, so some of their unit can 
double capture, so it means that they can capture several units in one turn. So you know already the dung, you know the ghouls, and now you have to face the brutes. So the brute is a bishop by three, and if there is a piece just nearby itself, uh, then uh, um, for example, there is a piece here on d4. Uh, next turn, if nothing is done, uh, this, uh, this piece will be automatically captured, and uh, they don't have to do anything. So I have to think very careful. I guess I'll play frog to f3 to start with the fairies. I have a big advantage because I can do some awful stuff. Uh, how do I react to this? I want to capture that. Oh wait, did I fall into a trap? Yeah, this is a trap. Oh yeah, uh, let me just show you. I can't perform this move because this is a map that can be captured. Okay, this is a this is already a threat. Wow. Big trap. So let's not get trapped. I'll play again my opening uh, frog to h4. And now I'll play h4. Uh, I said frog to h4, excuse me, frog to f3, and my idea was h4. Um, I'm ready to, to, to catch you with the shroom. This seems to be greedy, but I want to give it a try. Brute takes a 5. Okay. So now I'll try to open a little the position and be sure that I wouldn't be trapped by these awful brute creatures. Because two brutes are cool, but four birds uh, this is very hard to play against. And brutes are very cool to play against pawn structures, so you have to be very careful. Okay, there's a temple over, over here. So I'll go there. Takes. Takes back. Maybe it would take. Yeah, and I'm okay for the trade. One brute down is, is okay for me. Because now... I will get a tempo here. My king is very exposed, I should castle soon. Oh, it defends itself the very strong way, but now he loses all uh, his uh, light square bishops. So now I would get only the dark squares. So I'm okay for this trade. Now, I'll try to get over here. Oh, nice. I'll get back. The dung goes here. I'll develop the other pixie. So I have the big shot pair. So normally everything should be fine if I play well. But you want to remove somehow the bishop pair. I let him do. Because he would have just one brute. That wouldn't be enough. So what do you do? Okay, so I have a threat here. Well done. I'll do this then. Still defending. And I'll try to castle. Next move is if allowed. Uh, this is not allowed so much. Ah, oh, damn. This is very well played. I'll take this trunk and I'll see what happens. Castle next move again if this is, is this allowed. Ah, these Scarab's Dungs are so tricky. Okay, so let's castle. And here, this move was good to defend this pawn on b5. If I capture it here, uh, uh, I lose. Uh, here, I'll capture this trunk and see what happens here. I want a clarification about this. And actually, goes here. Uh, now, I might be tempted to capture this pawn. 
but maybe he has a trick. Let's see what he can do. Ghoul to a5. So I'll make my way. And brute takes now. Okay, I'll take. Oh shoot! I got tricked. What? You wouldn't want to take? What? Why? Uh, wait, 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 wait. There's, some, there's something wrong here. So I'm sure the alternative is stronger than what you think. I guess the stuff is that if I dare to move my wisp, which is pretty trapped, then you would have a discovered check. Oh, this is too strong, so I have to take. And then I will take the brute too. No, the brute takes first with check, and then he takes. But uh, I'm up material, so I'm okay. Um, I'll go this way. Oh, shoot. I got treated so much. Okay, I'll block this square. Then I'll go here. Then I, move, I have my little trick. Check. Oh, no, uh, this is not really a checkmate, even if this moves, because he can't capture his own pawns. I forgot. Yeah, I don't mind. Oh shoot, um, yeah, I didn't want to play that. But anyways, uh, we might get a trail. Okay, takes. Doesn't want a trail, so I'll take it. Then I'll take that. He can sacrifice himself to to get this. This is okay. I don't mind to lose material because I'm just up material, so I'll, I'll win this game. And he wants to get over my pawns. I don't know, I'll start advancing my king. I want to see what he's up for. Maybe he can trick some pawns, I guess. Yeah, this is definitely that. Okay, that would be quickly over. This is sad that I'm only range 4. Also, that would be more cool. Oh, this is okay for me. Okay, plays really badly. Okay, this is very funny because he finds some crazy tactics in the early game and then uh, he would just lose something. Okay, and now we have to reach uh, level 20. Excuse me. Yeah, I'll check the time. That will be it. So. Okay, so last level and we finish this episode. So oh, I get a plan with the humans to, to end this episode. Let's go. Full YOLO. Mon Paradisi. At the pearly gates, Archangel Padron repeats his distrust. Did the man theoretically you better judgment astray, Princess Madeline? The skies and waters cannot meld. The wrath and the heavens shall be swift. We must reach his inner sanctum and plea for an audience. The silver demons shall triumph if we count our unit as one. Okay. Let's see if we can get something. Okay, so here now uh, the judge comes back, the zealot is here, we have griffins, and now we have this shield. Oh, this shield is catastrophic unit. This is a queen by four. It can't capture pawns, yes, but it can't be captured by pawns. So none of you unit is safe if this is just... Yeah, I don't know. Protected by a pawn, so you have to be careful. Let's go pawn e3, I have an idea. Uh, nothing to worry about. Knight c3. Does this work? Ah, oh, completely fall into. Got this. Okay, so here this is panic. So let's take. Okay, this is big, big, big panic. Yeah. And now I'm completely winning. Okay, completely fall into the trap. This is funny. 
Uh, I say this is funny, but I also fall into very stupid traps, actually. Um, I want to defend this pawn, so let's get this very weird pawn structure. Now I have a threat of the McQueen. This would jump also here, so... Where should I go? I'll go here. Ah, the Zealot. So I want to be sure that uh, we don't have any problem on light squares, so now this attacks the Queen again. I should play on the dark squares. Yeah, let's go on the dark squares. Here I'm sure I will be safe. And I castle the other way. Mm. I'll develop this knight. The zero goes back. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah, it threats to capture, but I'm okay. This is double defended mine. Okay. Okay, so now how do I go break through? I somehow want to get this rook in vault, so I should challenge. I've, I'm defended once. Yeah, this is a load. I try to see if there's no crazy stuff here. Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, if I go here, uh, he has some tactics. So I'll go there. Takes. Takes back. Okay, that might seem good for me. I'll put the queen here. Uh huh, defense this way. So I'll counter defend. Captures. What's the point here? Um, I can take this. Yeah. And now. Uh, actually, I could decide to go for a trade, but I'm really ready for this. I should uh, involve my other rook into the game before. Oh. I actually like this, because now that this is moved... Oh, there's surely some mate somewhere. Let's get a check. Let's get a check. There has to be something. Check. Check. Ooh, and mate, this way. Oh, this is a beautiful mate. Wow. I'm very glad uh, this episode would uh, finish like this. Okay. So I guess we have made, uh, oh yeah, Angel Jane, the order. So I guess we made a lot of breakthrough because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight factions. So here, uh, let me show you all the base theory. So we get the human faction at the beginning of the game. Now we have the angel faction. Oh, I guess this is alphabetic. So this lovely faction with the throne, the lord, church, shield, king. We have got the goblins on the first episode, remember? We've got the Tikis, then, on this episode. I really like the Tikis. Ah, yeah. I didn't use the mole here for now. So this is normal. Yeah. Oh, this is cool that the, uh, the both units join rage. Very cool. The mermaids. The scarabs. The vampires. And the fairies. Cool. So let me see the collection. Also, we have we have all love that. This is very cool. So some of the faction we we have units are unlocked. So for example, this uh, slam. This is from the Jenny faction. We have what do we have? We have the uh, brute from the Yeti faction. We have uh, and we have the scoot from the alien faction, and for some reason I can't click on the units on the back rank. There might be a bug here, I guess, because I can click on all, on all units, but not this, so I don't know why, maybe there's a bug. And here I, I can think that uh, someday we have 
the other units. Because here, this is funny that we don't have uh, the root, bishop, rook, we don't have yet uh, the shell, we don't have the tomb, and nor the pixie or the shroom. So, yeah, maybe a next episode. So uh, this is the end for this episode, I guess I'm going to get to sleep. So I hope you all liked this episode and we're going to see each other next time. See you then, bye!